So my first shape was shield shield, but it had parity, so I had to do one extra slice. So here's what I did. And then CO. And then I saw here that I had solved CP on the bottom and an adjacent swap CP on the top. So I knew that once I was done with EO, I just had to go straight into the CPL, which was just adjacent on top. And then I just went in without, I actually didn't, didn't realign this layer um, and just did the CPL with, with the Jason on back. And that gave me ZU. But if I did the CPL with the realignment, it would have given me bad W. So I guess it was a good guess. And then I just had ZU. Oops. So for this next shape, I had parity, so I had to do a misalignment. I had to do this. And then CO. And then EO. And I saw that I had adjacent here and adjacent here. So I knew that it was just gonna be an adjacent adjacent swap. And since the movement of the pieces don't really change that much for this EO case, um, it was easy to see where these corners were going to end up, so I just went straight into it. And I actually saw that I would have an adjacent swap, or at least I saw this block. I didn't see this one, but I saw this block, and I saw these two blocks. So I assumed that it was either going to be O adjacent or adjacent adjacent, um, whether I misaligned or not, and I aligned correctly. So, and then adjacent adjacent. So this next shape was shield fist and I had parity on it. So I had to do this. And then CO, not the greatest CO, but it wasn't the worst. And then once again, I saw I had adjacent and adjacent for CP. Um, and you know, the one one elk doesn't disrupt that. So I knew that this was gonna stay here and this is probably gonna end up somewhere around here. Yeah, they both stayed here, and this time I knew I could force adjacent adjacent uh, because I had two blocks here. Actually, I didn't see this block first, but I saw this, this, and that, and then I assumed that, you know, this would be here. So I misaligned this to preserve the blocks, and I got adjacent adjacent. So I'm not going to lie, this is a pretty bad cube shape solution, but whatever. I mean, it got me an 8, so who cares? So this is what I did. I turned it into shield kite and did that. So it gave me a one slice CO, but it wasn't the most optimal solution, but whatever. CO. And then, so for here, I saw that I had solved CP, um, but for this case, it actually disrupts CP, so it didn't really matter. I know that this does a Y perm on top and an adjacent swap on the right when you do the alc from this angle. So I assumed that I was going to have an adjacent swap here and an adjacent swap here. And I was almost right. <laughs> There's an adjacent swap here and an adjacent swap here. So CP. And this is a pretty bad case. And the way I did it was also pretty bad. I did M2 into U perm. Wrong angle. I think I did that yeah that is not the best way to do it in my opinion um, I think what I should have done was do this adjacent swap into good W um, but I did M2 into bottom U perm so I mean whatever it was my worst solve anyway <laughs> So this is scallop fist and this had parity so I had two options I had to either turn it upside down and move this whole scallop all the way around um, or I had to turn this way and turn the fist all the way around 
Um, so either way, it wasn't that great. So I chose with having a scallop on top because that's what I'm more comfortable with. So I did this. And then CO. And then I saw I had adjacent here and diag here. So for this out, this preserved CP. I also saw this block, which I knew would be preserved. Um, so I knew I had to misalign the layer once I did the uh, CP alg. Like that. So I knew that because of these two blocks and the fact that I misaligned it, um, I would get an opposite swap on top. And I knew that because I had just a two swap on bottom, that if I were to do an end perm, it would give me an opposite swap on bottom. So I knew that I have opposite opposite, which is just M2, U2, M2. So and I just went into it. So yeah. Those are five walkthrough solves for you. I hope you enjoyed, and I hope you guys learned something from that. Thank you. Wait, wait. You forgot to subscribe. Oh, also, I have an Instagrizzle and a Snapchadoodle.